Hi, my name's Abia Chowdhury. My presentation is on the social exchange theory. I wanted to start off by asking some questions that will get your brain flowing, thinking about concepts that relate to the theory that I'm going to explain. Um, have you ever had a relationship that was tiring but still worth it at the end notably maybe you could think of a relationship like your siblings you know they're really annoying but you love them at the end of the day but have you ever had relationships that are just too tiring and not worth it usually these aren't family relationships they could be which is totally fine if that is your situation but you know maybe it'll be a friend or something that's just like ugh, they're too toxic i want nothing to do with them subconsciously do you know how you feel about these people because you kind of keep track of rewards and losses so you might not think about it in this way but the social exchange theory kind of simplifies this idea and explains it in a way to which you could understand why some relationships are longer lasting than others Personally, I feel like making lasting friendships in this age of technology is hard. Trying to make your relationships more worthwhile for you and the other parties involved would be a good thing. And understanding the social exchange theory can aid, aid us in doing that. I selected these topics because once these social dynamics and exchanges can be recognized, it can be a beneficial tool in your personal and professional relationship. Um, I have experienced this like intrapersonal phenomenon of like rewards and losses this past month because I had a friend staying over at my house that was visiting and there were costs and benefits to the relationship of course but overall um, there was a greater profit and you'll see later on what a greater profit exactly means. This theory originates from American sociologist George Homan. Social theory, social exchange theory is quote based on the notion that a relationship between two people is created through a process of cost-benefit analysis. In other words, it's a metric designed to determine the effort poured in by an individual in a person-to-person -person relationship. And that is from what is social exchange theory. You can see this kind of metric exchange playing out in America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top Model is a reality show where models compete to as the title said, become America's next top model. And the host is supermodel Tyra Bink. So at the end of each competition, Tyra has to send one model home. In this specific scene, Tyra sends two models home because she is unhappy with their behavior. So in our textbook, BB and Masterson state that relationships can be described in terms of their rewards and costs, profits and losses. In the scene of America's Next Top Model, Tyra Banks is in charge and she did not like how Tiffany, the model that was eliminated that um, she yelled at, she did not like how Tiffany did not cry after losing the show. As you saw, this resulted in Tiffany being yelled at, which is a cost for Tiffany but Tyra still has the opportunity to aid in Tiffany's career, which is considered a reward that outweighs this cost for Tiffany. So Tyra is still profitable to Tiffany and that is why Tiffany forgives her at the end. So you might be wondering, why does profit influence Tiffany to forgive Tyra even though Tyra yelled at her? This is because the social exchange theory states that as long as rewards exceed costs, a relationship remains active. This means that Tyra, at the end of her yelling rant, she got the satisfaction of letting out her feelings, and Tiffany, she still benefits from having Tyra support. She forgave her at the end. A positive consequence of this is that it ended up working for both of them, but a negative consequence of this is Tyra got to let go of her feelings while Tiffany kind of had to stay more professional and guarded and she could not express herself because she did not 
have what Tyra could offer her. Basically, what we can learn from this is that as long as there is a profit for both parties, then the relationship will likely remain steady. I hope you guys can use these tools and concepts to make your relationships and interactions in your life more worthwhile and beneficial for every party involved. Thank you for watching.